mga side lane dito ng Burmese School. Meanwhile, for Bren Esports, once Ayun, World DC like, like gets his ka. level 4, pwede na kagad silang mag-roam around the map. Even itong Ayun, kalit like, to, as like in level ka. 1, kayang-kaya na kagad pumick off. Oo. Oh. And now, Bren Esports, Grand Finals! Best of seven, kalaban ng Burmese Uy, Schools. May bagong bedroom Game na naman. Game number five, we are tied two to two. And I like the, I like how the fact na ang bilis na magpili ng Bren Esports. Ayun, din like. Uh, ng Ay, kinangina ka. So this could mean na it could be a few na maggagamit na naman ng Benedetta unless, nope, it is gonna be a few made. Ayun, like. Flat like, Benedetta, you called it right. Carl Tizi with the Isan Shin and si Rivo ang gagamit dito ng Khalid. So, in the end, you still get Bren Esports na from the side uh, side lanes. Maganda naman yung pag-ano nila. Uh, potential to respond really quick and to go for the quick team fight responses. But, what do you think about the early game lineups here na makita natin dito from these two teams, Kuya Rob? Uh, it all boils down dito sa aggression dito ng Bren Esports. Try to cancel the purple buff. Pero mukhang may trade off yun. Kuya Reptar as few will be the first blood dito. Pero mukhang Ayun, hindi like, palihin to. Like ang Bren Esports na ibig, ayaw nilang ibig, bigyan ng easy purple buff dito si Ace. Oo, oh, oh, and ginagawa lang ng Bren Esports yung kailangan nila gawin, which is to delay the farm of the two carry. Si Claude, nakita mo na nga, medyo natagalan siya sa pagkuha ng purple buff. Hindi pa nga niya ata nakuha. And meanwhile, si Flap TZ, kinakut wave na dito si Ruby DD. Thus, the reason why maganda yung XP lead niya. Pero si Few mukhang mahuli na naman dito ni Kid. Uh, the Selena in the mid lane. And Few, makakataka siya. Abyssal arrow, lalabas. Hindi makakatama. Now, Burmese goals and Barane Sports still. Early game pa rin, wala pa tayo nakita masyadong action other than the pick-off ng Burmese Ghouls, if you. Na late dito yung level 4 ni Ace dito, just all because yung delay to on sa may purple buff. Pero ang trade-off nun, that was two kills in favor of Burmese Ghoul. Uh, so, ngayon, medyo nagbe-make sense pa rin eh. Kahit pa paano nadidelay dito si Ace, eh nakakakuha naman ng return kill dito yes. ang Burmese Ghoul. But I think, Reptar, Carl TZ, medyo hindi pa natin nararamdaman masyado yung damage niya dito kasi kailangan niya pa ng mga farm. Yeah. Pero once na ma-hit dito, like nila Lusty, yung kanilang level 4, let yes. alone si Few, once na mag-hit ng level 4, I think that's where the real fight starts. Yung maganda sa lineup dito ng brand esports is meron silang dalawang execute, na Flap TZ and Rebo, Khalid and Benedetta execute. So kailangan ng gawin dito ng brand esports is makabawas lang dito si Carl and si Few, even though they don't get the kill, as long as it's gonna be enough para maka-execute dito ang Bren Esports is gonna be more than enough kasi yun na nga there's gonna be a pick off of the kid napitan si Selena dito si maybe is gonna be next and that's gonna be Carl Tizi with his first kill of the game 2 for 2 right now and mukhang yung unang turtle of the game ay mapupunta ah, sa Bren Esports that's a complete turn around at dahil yun kay Lusty he actually waited for it na pumasok doon sa brush doon sa gitna malapit doon so may turtle pit well time ngayon punta ngayon dito ang momentum sa mga kaibigan natin from Bren Esports at sabi natin dito kami na Reptar, once they hit their level 4, once they hit their ultimate, magiging aggressive na ngayon ang Bren Esports. At kitang-kita mo sa mapa kung paano nila kinakat dito oh. ang wave sa may ibandang ibaba. And Lusty and Flap Tizi maghahanap ng pressure doon sa orange buff. That's gonna be the Abyssal Arrow connecting on to Lusty pero hindi pa pasok si Kid. Hindi pa nga siya nakaka-level 4 dito. So this Elena has to play it carefully and Bren Esports can play to this lead. Pero mukha si maybe dito ang mahuhuli doon sa bottom lane naman ay si Ruby DD. So yung Harith na hirapan sa pressure dito ni Fuse up at ni Flap TZ. Oo, oh, oh. So, kailangan gawin ngayon dito ng Burmese School ay eh, makakuha sila ng return kill dito kay Ribo as three members of the Burmese School. Now, maybe pinning down sa may bandang pader dito si Ribo pero mukhang mabubuhay pa ah, siya. Buhay pa rin si Ribo! Ginaga, ginamit yung quick sand guard pero si Tizi nusubukan niya. Nakodin! 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 Nakatakas pa rin si Ribo! Double kill with Lusty! The tower hit and the sustain! Lusty with the save kay Ribo! Kuya Rob! Save na save! That was a well time quick sun guard D O D O M G yun na nga mga kaibigan that was a complete turn around from Bren Esports at alam mo ba Kuya Retard dalawa lang silang nandoon dahil yung tatlong miyembro ng Bren Esports ay nagbabasag lang sa ibaba and yun nga, nakabasag sila ng Torre doon sa baba. That's gonna be the Hurricane Dance na ginamit doon kay Few. I like to find a blow na gamit dito ni Flap TZ. Yes, there is gonna be a team fight happening here in the middle lane. That is gonna be kill. Ah, uh, kill. Napupunta dito sa Bren Esports. Si Kidang Napitas. So that is a one for non trade. A one for one win for Bren Esports in the lead in this game number five. Nako. 
Reptar, masasabi ko na ang ganda na naman ang simula dito ng Brent Esports. And kumbaga, sa ano eh, sa, sa, sa winning condition, ginagawa na naman what they did on game number four. Mm -hmm. Nangyari na yung, uh, yung kanilang mistake kanina, I doubt, Ooh. na mangyayari yun ulit. At look at that, secured na naman yung turtle. Maybe, maybe, mabuhay ka doon. Pero Save dito, you. may Bina mamamatay na naman. And that's Ooh. gonna be kid. Siya yung may kid dito. Pero siya talaga yung binabata ngayon ng mga tropa natin from Brent Esports. Ruby DD. DNA sa sa ilalim ng tore, hindi makakapasok dito si Carl TZ and Fee. But again, the constant pressure na nilalagay sa silence ni Flap TZ na hindi makaform dito si Ruby DD. And again, Burmese Ghouls have a lineup na sobrang dependent sa mak ma pwede makaform dito si Ace at si Ruby. But dahil nga, Bren Esports naman ang nag-up ng pressure sa early game dito dahil sa mabilis na rotation nila na gumagaling sa Kalid, na gumagaling dito sa Benedetta ni Flap TZ. Burmese Ghouls naman ang nasurpresa ngayon. That's gonna be a tower break in the top lane, Kuya Rob. Oo, gulat na gulat sila dito. Pero look at the, ginamit niya naman dito yung dragon. Pero para sa ad, dahil si Ribo, tatalon lang doon. Pero yung arrow, tumama. Pero lumuhod dito si Ribo. Pero that's not gonna be enough. Dahil merong execute dito si Kuya D. Pero speaking of D, si Ruby DD, nandito sa may bandang likod, nagsasaman force doon sa mga minion way. Pero si Baby, nadikit sa pader si Flap. Flap TZ! Si Flap TZ buhay pa rin! Pero napitas doon ni D. If you susubukan niya makukuha ng pick-up dito, si Lasty papasok, hindi na. Magpapakita lang. Burmese Ghouls are able to get a few kills here. Pero Bren Esports, sila pa rin ang nasa lead ngayon with the 4K gold lead. They have three towers over none na nabasag dito ng Burmese Ghouls. So hindi pa nakakabasag ng Tore ngayon ang Bren Esports. Mababalik tayo sa game real quick while it's going on. Pero ano yung mga nakita mo na maganda dito na nangyari para sa Bren? Uh, actually, it's a chain of events talaga eh. Uh, uh, masasabi ko lang dito, Bren Esports, they are still on the lead. Uh, halata naman yon. Uh, pero kasi yung Burmese Gold, nandito na naman tayo sa point na they know their winning condition. They have this Claude on their lineup. And by far, like, hindi pa masyado, hindi pa, actually, hindi pa nga namamatay dito si Ace. Oo, and Carl Tizzy, at taas na ng damit ng isang shield na to. At hindi pa siya nahuhuli. Abay sa laro, hindi makakakonnect. They're waiting for the turtle. And that is gonna be the turtle secured by Bren Esports. Now, the positioning here of maybe, baka makukuha sila ng pick-off kung hindi mag-ingat dito ang Bren. Pero tignan mo nga, dahil sa pressure sa waves na nilagay ito sa bot lane, hindi makatulong o hindi makakakonnect. Akyat si Ace. Alam mo, dito kay Reptar, kailangan nalang gawin dito ng Bren Esports is to choke out the resources ng Bo Burmese School. Huwag nilang palabasin dito yung mga members na to. Ito, gawin nila, ibato nila, yan si Kid, gawing bata na yan. At yun, patay siya doon. Si Ruby DD, pero ito yung wombo ko ng Burmese School. Pero Bren Esports lumalapot pa rin. Andito na si Flap! Si Flap TZ, and si Ribo, and si Lusty. Dumaretso doon sa backline. Good toss by Lusty para makatakas doon si Flap. Pero si Flap lumalapot pa rin. D in a sandwich here. Carl TZ, mataas pa yung buhay niya. Susubukan niya. At ato, that is gonna be DNA is really low. That is a 3 for 2 trade na lumamang ang Burmese Ghouls. But again, breathe easy in the lead pa rin ang Bren. And they just need to readjust. Na pick up lang sila. Na nalagay lang sila sa unfortunate situation. That was a good play though. Galing sa Burmese Ghouls. Kailangan mag-ingat sila dito, Kuya Reptar. Kasi medyo lumalalim sila dun eh. They was actually on the back of the outer turret on the mid lane. That's one of the reasons bakit naging awkward sa kanila. Parang ang nangyayari kasi ngayon dito for Burmese Goal is pinapahabol nila yung mga members ng Bren Esports. Alam nila na magiging aggressive talaga yon Pero ang kailangan gawin ngayon dito ng Bren Esports, kailangan nilang Uy, take off may bagong dito bedlog si na naman. Kasi uncontested yung farm niya hanggang ngayon. Oo, kailangan nila mahinto yung cloud na to. As long as Bren Esports, pag nakakuha na nga sila ng shutdown doon, it could be a big swing for Bren. Pero at the same time, for Burmese Goals, it could be a really big swing kung mahuli naman sila ni, uh, mahuli nila si Carl Tizzy, who is at 3-0-2 right now. 2-0 and 3 naman for Ace. So the carries of both teams are doing really well. Pero sa XP at sa gold, lamang dito si Carl TC. Lamang nga talaga dito si Carl TC. And they have to hold it. Turtle pa naman yung lalabas. They could potentially take the first floor dito. Might be uncontested. Pero they have to uh, change their strategy ngayon dito, Kuya Reptar. The Turtle... Probably will be secured once again here by Bren Esports. Pero kasi yung Burmese Ghoul eh. Uh, patient din kasi talaga yung game Uy, nila eh. Alam nila na, na, na kaya nilang pumalag sa late game. So might as well play it safely. Oh maybe. Medyo mali yung pasok na doon. Pero mahuli to sila. So here comes the Electro Final Blow. And si Ace na naman with a blazing to win. Si Flap TZ ang daming dami. So nakuha niya. That's gonna be a one for one trade. Benedetta para kay Akai. And Bren Esports medyo napawasan. Pero lumalapon pa sila. Di papasok. Diretso kay Carl TZ. Pero ang taas na ng damage dito ng Ace and Shin. And Carl TZ can do it. Few 
as well. Sinusubukan niya. At talo na lang ang naiwan dito. Dalawa na lang ang naiwan sa Bren. Si Ribo na tagalan doon si, sa bottom lane. Pero kailangan niya mag-split push doon. And that is gonna be once again Bren Esports caught off guard. Ribo, Raging Sandstorm, hindi ko mo konekta. Uh, Kid and Ruby DD. Susubukan ni Ribo makakuha ng kill. The trap, the quick sand guard just to heal. He bought time. But that is Rebo that got picked off. We still have ourselves a game, a game much closer. And the story is, yung dalawang jungler, dalawang carry ng dalawang team sa to, hindi pa sila nauhuli. Kung sino man ang unang jungler ata ang mahuli, yun ang magiging turning point ng game natin. Pero kasi ang nangyayari dito, Reptar, eh, uh, Burmese School, they have this certain capability na mang-focus fire. Eh. Uh, alam nila, napapasok doon si Flap PC. Naku po, sinamaan pa ng pana, but the nice. ejector will be saved here by Lusty. Going back to the point doon sa team fight na yun, Kuya Reptar, ang nangyari doon is that uh, pagpasok ni Flap TC, nag-back away yung Burmese School. Oh. Yung, yung Harit, pumunta doon sa likod together with Ace. So, kinocus fire muna nila si Flap TC. Hindi nila hinayaan na mag-slice in and dice in doon sa likod. And from there, nung nawala si Flap TC, that's the time they go sa Bren Esports. Si Lusty ang nahuli doon, pero tingnan natin kung re-responde dito ang Bren. Wala lang hurricane dance dito si Maybe and si Flap TC, pumasok siya. Ginamin na ang Zaman Force ni Ruby DD and Bren Esports, ginawa nila yung tama. Disiplina, wag muna sila lumaban kasi five versus four versus four situation yun. Pero medyo may malulugi sila doon. Pero si Rebo ang mahuhuli dito. Raging Sandstorm ginamit para makatakas lang. Flap TC going in. Ace, munti ka na, mapitas! Blazing duet na force out. And Brenny Sports are gonna be happy about that kasi for just a moment, makakamanis na ata sila ng waves as there is gonna be a technical pause. Very, very close game dito para sa game number five. Rob, ano mga nakikita na natin na pwede uh, uh, magiging turning point or what's going wrong for these two teams? Anong analysis natin, Kuya Rob? Ang nakikita ako dito, Reptar, medyo complete swing lang ngayon ng gold. May kita natin doon that was still on Bren Esports side. Pero alam natin na nakahabol na dito ang Burmese oh. goal. In terms of map control, Burmese goal had it. Kung si mo, that engagement on the mid lane was actually a 4v5 dahil yung Yuzhong nandun sa likod. Ang, ang kadalasang galaw kasi talaga dito ni D with this Yuzhong is flank eh. So ang ginagawa niya, uh, parang ang ginagawa ng, ng Burmese School dito, pinapahabol nila yung mga members ng Bren Esports mm -hmm. din sa likod, pinaflank sila doon nung Dragon. So ngayon, Bren Esports has to take it slow. Mm -hmm. And this, they are still on the lead. They are, they are still capable on winning this series. Hindi naman sila behind eh. Mm -hmm. Sila nga yung lamang nung early game eh. Kaso kasi, uh, Burmese goal realizing na kaya naman natin silang sabayan sa late game. Pa uh, kumbaga, i-bait natin. Hayaan natin sila yung sumugod ng sumugod. Kasi in terms of counter-engagement, yun doon nagiging mas malakas ang, ano eh, ang uh, Burmese goal. Yeah, and yung maganda dito is yung positioning uh, for Brand Esports is that, okay, na, na to turn around na konti ng Burmese goals. But as long as Carl TZ stays in a safe yes. distance, okay naman eh. Social distancing muna dito si Carl mm -hmm. TZ. And gumagana naman na in the fact na hindi pa na siya shutdown dito yung isang siya niya. That's gonna be a really big goal swing. Yung pinakamadalas na pumapasok and na nilalagay yung sarili niya in a bad position uh -huh. is si Ace. Kasi kailangan niya pumasok with a blazing duet. Pero yung mga nabubuhusan lang niya ng mga blazing duet, sino? Yung mga Khalid, yung Jawhead, yung Benedetta. Carl TZ is safe. As we get later into the game at nakakakuha ng armor items dito, yung mga frontliners ng Bren, makita na ng, uh, alter, uh, ng Burmese Ghouls na parang hin hindi masyado malaki yung return dito. Na nakaka-blaze yung duet ako, mm -hmm. pero parang hindi pa masyado malaki yung bawas. And at that point, he's gonna be put in a worse situation, delikadong position, kung wala siyang BMI, kung mas tan siya. Tapos si Carl Tizzi nasa, nasa likod lang. And that's the thing that Bren needs to keep in mind. Dapat hindi dito mapita si Carl, we can commit Pero dapat merong isa sa atin na pinoprotektahan yung backline natin na uh -oh. isang shin. Pwede, pwede. I like your point, no? Na may kailangan talaga mag-protect dito with Carl TC. As per uh, uh, Carl TC, uh, he's actually doing a very great job naman going here onto the late game. Hindi, guys, alam mo, hindi naman siya napipick off. He actually has a good position during the game. Ang masasabi ko lang dito, Flap TC has to step up on to this game. Kailangan siya yung parang yuzong eh, nung kapila eh. Kailangan mag, ano siya yung mag-force siya ng reaction. Katulad oh. nga, tignan mo rito ngayon sa mapa, Kuya Reptar. Flap TC is already doing that. Sa side lane push na siya ngayon. Oh. Kumbaga, to the point na kailangan pumunta yung attention dito ng Burmese School. And one of the reason bakit ginagawa ni Flap TC to, kasi yung Lord ay nasa ibaba. So meaning to say, four members ng Bren Esports are gonna, uh, gonna be circling around the Lord here on the bottom lane 
while itong si Platici will try to ask for attention na puntahan siya sa top lane. Oh, the, the thing with Brandy Spurs of what they need to watch out for other than the blazing duet, yung mga setup na ginagawa dito ni Maybe is the fact na mayroon pang Zaman Force na kailangan na iwasan dito ng Bren. Ruby D, D2, 1 and 5, di pa natin siya marado, uh, masyado nararamdaman but with the melee heavy, uh, frontline heavy lineup na meron dito ang Bren Esports, even Lunox ha, hindi siya masyado na sa backline. Kailangan niya lumapit konti sa laban. That Zaman Force could be a problem for Bren Esports and something that they have to watch out for as this Lord na mabilis na binabawasan dito ng Fermi Schools. Oh no! Hindi na yata masisteal yun dito ng Bren Esports as Lusty tried his best pero siya yata huna mapipitas but with Blazing Duet ang sakit dito ng damage ni Ace secured ngayon ng Bren Miss goal ang Lord and even Flap Easy actually about to die doon sa may bottom lane pero hindi pa yun oh! dahil tatlong miyembro dito ng Red Esports isama mo pa dito si Rebo apat ang nawala ngayon dito sa Bren ang, mag ang nakakatakot pa doon Kuya Reptar dahil yung Lord hindi pa sumusugod yun pa lang paparating pa lang sa iba pa so ngayon ang mangyayari mauubos ngayon dito ang mga outer turrets ng Bren Esports Flap Easy kailangan mag mag at dito si Lasty nakabalik na mga 15 seconds in average ang mga uh, ang respawn timer dito ng Bren Esports yung Lord medyo malayo pa pero yung mga second tier towers ang mukhang mababasag dito ng Burmese Schools second tier tower in the bottom lane goes down Yuzong ng Burmese Schools nagsisplit po siya taas para subukan niya mabasagin yun there's gonna be a wave cut here Ayun, that's gonna be Bren Esports focusing na onto the Lord into the bottom lane and mukhang Bren Esports mahinto nila yung Lord dito hindi siya makaka-charge up ng damage dun sa Torre dun sa baba Ah, Burmese schools naman in the top lane are trying to break that tower. We're all Bren Esports with a defense. Match point defense para sa Pilipinas. Kapit lang Pinas. Tignan natin kung ano magagawa dito ng Bren Esports. Kapit basic talaga sila dito. Dahil yung dragon ni Titon, si Dozono dito, a member ng Bren Esports as the tower on the top lane. Al's already destroyed Reptar. Even yung baba, isang normal attack na lang as Ruby DD taking it down. Pero hindi pa humihinto dito ang mga member natin from Burmese Goal as they want another fight. Pero disiplina daw muna galing Myanmar ang ipapakita nila sa atin as they back away. They took what they need. Nabasagan nila dito ng dalawang base turret ang Bren Esports. Okay na yun. Hayaan natin muna. Hintayin natin muna na maging agresibo ulit ang Bren Esports. As per Bren Esports, they have to rethink their approach dito sa late game dahil ang Burmese School, one lord away or a pick off away para kunin ang larong ito. Bren Esports, I feel like they need to go for the counter engage this time naman ang gusto nila hanapin na Lusty is having a really great game onto the Johan. Nakukuha naman yung targets na gusto niya iba to. Uy, Pero yung Burmese School na nangyari is pag engage ng Bren Esports, magka-counter lang sila. Q, ginamit yung power of order brilliance para makuha yung purple buff. Pero magpupunta kay Ruby like DD on that Harris. Bren Esports, hinahanap yung kailangan niya lagawin para makadepensa. Pero si Lusty ang mahuhuli doon. Johan is gonna get really low in the blazing to it. And the damage and the wombo combo ng Burmese Goose. Dalawa kagad na wala sa Bren Esports. Lusty and Carl TZ as Bren Esports are gonna try to hold on. And Burmese Goose naman, susubukan nila tapusin ang laban na to. Wala na dito si Carl TZ, the main physical damage dealer ng Bren Esports. Yung main carry nila, Flap TZ and Rebo with the AOE damage. Sinusubukan nila pero wala silang panghuli dito sa Harith. Flap TZ, Rebo are gonna try to defend this. But with 10 seconds plus, it's gonna look really difficult para sa Bren Esports. Flap TZ naman, sinusubukan tapusin lang dito ng Burmese Goose ang game na to. And that is gonna be match point. 3 to 2. The team from Myanmar surprising us all. And now they're feeling carefree. They're feeling happy because they're about to put Myanmar in the map and surprise the world. Pero Bren Esports.